Watching back on RLCS matches from the early seasons of Rocket League, you can really tell that the casters of Rocket League have upped their game as seasons go by, and they're an integral part of what makes Rocket League so hyped to watch on the main stage. What people may not realize is that there's so much more that goes on below the surface that casters have to deal with, like stalling, filling space, being able to commentate over a voice speaking in their headset, and so much more that makes their job way more difficult than meets the eye. But for today, we're stripping all that down and giving your average Joe the chance to cast an RLCS match. I got subscribers in my Twitch stream to join in for a chance to cast a match. If you want to join in on videos like this in the future, feel free to go follow me on my Twitch as well. And speaking of future videos, if you want to see this turn into a mini series, leave a like and if we hit 15,000 likes on this, I'll do a second episode. Because I sure want another episode after moments like this. <laughs> so let's get right into it. For today we have five pairs of casters, let's see how they did. The first pair is Josh and Geo, two familiar faces on the channel. How will their synergy be on the main stage? This is the kickoff. Yes, it is. This is somebody we're watching a dominant. <laughs> yeah, we're watching a purple dominus currently. Yep. Process of Red elimination. Red you got to know what the teams are. You'll know the I believe player. it was memory. <laughs> this is great casting so far, guys. Keep it up. All right, we've uh, we've got Arsenal. People I think. Take the shot from somebody in a fanic. <laughs> <laughs> What is this casting, guys? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Cinderblock has a plugin that shows a stat box. We've been saved. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. The goat Cinderblock is here. <laughs> here we go. Beast mode and Sibyl going for the takeoff. Arsenal takes it to the backboard. Going up the wall, grabs the corner boost. Memory takes a block off the backboard. Good 50 from Sibyl off the backboard for the double. And it's in. Uh, the excitement it's the top corner shot. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to like, figure out what's going on. I mean, I love it. I love it. It's good. Rapids take, trying to take another shot. Beast mode, centering, and then it on the backboard. <laughs> Amazing play by play here. Oh, yes. The classic it's RLCS cool casters clearing. calling out their, their, their own <laughs> casting. I know, right? Beast mode with the cross the goal save. So good what? Offense. Good memory. Everybody's playing better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they're the pros. It's difficult to yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, this is this Arsenal is really fun to listen to. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I have very cold gamer hands right now, and I'm not even holding a controller. Arsenal is controlling the ball. Holes so one thing out. that I would suggest is uh, you guys got to lead each other in. You got to give some space to, to talk to one another. I, I, I'm not sure Josh go for it, dude. I'm good with that. I think okay, we got so an automatic so forfeit from Geo in this one. <laughs> Reddles is in control of the ball for their for 13. <laughs> 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 what is going on? Uh, <laughs> takes a shot. Yeah. What's it? Off the ceiling. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Get them into the RLCS, boys. Let's go. What was that, Geo? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> something about the something about the backboard. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Reddles clearing the ball into the corner, trying to get a shot. Oh Did you just fart? <laughs> this is a professional <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is. A <laughs> Memory rotating back with beast mode to challenge the ball. Memory <laughs> Rapid trying to take a shot. Rapid takes a shot. Bounces in the net. <laughs> <laughs> and then we Just, have an overtime. Uh, the most monotone. <laughs> why did it have to be an overtime? <laughs> Why overtimes are the best thing? See, we've got Rapid missing the ball. <laughs> the smoke pops it up. <laughs> what is even happening anymore? Why is this so funny? I don't know. 
What a wonderful and hard fought eight minute plus game. <laughs> what a wonderful choice by me, honestly. I couldn't have done it any better. Sipical takes a shot and scores because oh, Rattle is not there. Beautiful dragons, thank you. And there it is. What a beautiful shot from Rattles at the end. What'd you guys? How'd you guys feel about that? Uh, chat, remember Josh and Geo win. So I'm gonna do a you quick. Already, I'm gonna do a quick poll on stream. Auto. All right. So we got RLCS quality or not good enough. I'm gonna start a poll. It's gonna be uh, two minutes long. I think we've got the vote here, and it says. Not good enough, but hey, 44% of the people voted RLCS quality, so congratulations. Well played. That was a great, great first round. Um, I've got more people waiting on the sidelines, so let's get into the next match. Next is Kraken and Sleegy. You might notice something peculiar about one of our guests. Let's get right into it. All right, well, everybody, welcome to this matchup between Kansas City Pioneers and Team Envy. My name is Sleegy. Join with me as Kraken as we get straight into the action down here on the field. It's going to begin with Mist up in the air, trying to get his way past Beast Mode. It'll be Atomic back out of the corner again. Turbo Pulso, it's a challenge, but Rapid able to beat him to it. And, you know, early on here, it's been some good pressure from Envy, but it's looking like Kansas City trying to work their way down the field now. Envy often starts slow, but then they finish really strong in a multiple game series. I've seen them do it today. <laughs> it's a good try, good try. Yeah, I mean, keep, keep it going, keep going. Uh, memory hits it right, trying to get to Rapid. Their passing plays have come short a lot of times so far this game, but Mist does a high aerial down, and what a save. I've done a little oh, bit of good. digging. Sleegy, uh, it's an interesting Twitter profile you got there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you said you were needing hey, caster. Yeah, hey, I like it, I like it. No, it's cool, it's cool. I like the difference. I like that we're getting some contrast in between some uh, people who are experienced with it. I like it. So far, so well on the defense from Envy. What do you think that at this moment now, especially with two minutes gone, Kansas City needs to do to try and get this game back level? They need to work on their down plays. Um, Turbo Posa has proven himself to be a really strong player, so they need to at least take one of Envy's roster out of the play to maybe get a good opportunity, or maybe go for some high passing plays that um, Envy won't expect. Yeah, I definitely think something that Envy won't expect is definitely what Kansas City needs to try and pull out of the bag here, especially with how well defensively Envy's been playing. Need to try and switch it up and really find ways to, you know, exploit the holes on defense. At the moment, Kansas City trying to break out of their own half. It'll be memory. Backboard cleared away by Turbo. Rapid with the response. So Atomic look to on play the back down board. out in front. Oh, missed. Able to get in the way. Memory will be able to follow it up. And right at the halfway point, that's going to be the equalizer for Kansas City. You want to switch? Yeah, hey, we can switch. Hey, you want to do play-by-play? Play? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I want to take a shot. Yeah, we're halfway memory through the game, up. so we might as well. Atomic challenges. Memory leading. Missed with a high aerial save. Turbo gets bumped. Rapid challenging the ball. Turbo posts up for the save. And he beats him. Missed with a great clear to beast mode with the interception. Turbo proposal and the rest of enemy struggling to get it out of their half, but now they have a fast breakaway. It's an opportunity for a shot and it's saved or crossbar or post. I can't speak until oh. Atomic gets a nice rebound and gets it in. Yeah, and that was good on Atomic to be able to read that play over on the left side. He's able to just sneak it by. And I think part of that is how much pressure we were seeing Envy really pound on it there. It was forcing Kansas City into a really awkward spot where they were having to choose to just not really develop the play, I think, with the way they were expecting and more just continue to respond to how Envy's pressure was placing them in that third. So, you know, good job on Envy for keeping the pressure up. And now it puts the onus on Kansas City to try and level things again only a minute and a half to go time's running thin they've only got less than 15 seconds left in this game yeah but rapids going up but it's cleared by miss they really got to get a clear right now or else it's going to be a tough tough goal to get but one of them is demoed uh, two of them is demoed in that game that was really good um let's get a let's get a poll going i, th I think that was actually really really solid sleegy so how much experience have you had with casting um i've been casting for about a year and a half now um solid I'm, try I'm trying at the moment to get to where I can do it full time, but I'm not quite there yet. Do you do it for only like Rocket League, or do you do like real sports and stuff? Um, Rocket League is my sort of primary game that I do. I've been trying to branch out in other games, so I've done like a little bit of Valorant casting, a little bit of Call of Duty casting, but Rocket League is like 99% of my experience. 
All right, let's see what people are saying. Everyone's everyone's voting RLCS quality here. They, they, th they thought it was pretty good. I, I agree. It was actually really, really solid. Sleegy, uh, you definitely haven't had, had some experience, but even Kraken, I believe that you you were, you know, bouncing back ideas back and forth with him throughout the game. So uh, that was pretty nice. <laughs> Sleegy, more like Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's, I can call the clear winner before anything really happens. We got RLCS quality for sure. I thought it was pretty good. Move on to the next one. Let's grab two more people. For the third game, we had Frank join us alongside Flash. Let's see how they cast. Let's grab Franklin. All right. Yo. Before we go. Yeah, yeah. Can I swear cast? Um, try not to. Oh, uh, that's why I joined. I'll let someone else well, do it. I mean, you can cast, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I feel like, oh, well, he just missed the fucking ball. Okay, well, no. <laughs> No. Okay. Well. No. <laughs> I mean, we can, you could do it. I could just. I, Danny's gonna hate you. <laughs> oh wait, is this a video? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, Frank? Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Sorry, Danny. I love you, but I'll, this is gonna uh, be a thirty-second segment of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. All right. We've got kickoff. Uh, it looks like KCP did the. Basic back left, back right kickoff. And <laughs> that's a mistake right off the beginning from Envy. Just hits it up into the ceiling and Rapid uh, takes advantage. So yeah, it's kind of weird because we don't have any replays, but it was so yeah. quick that we couldn't even see what was going on. There's another another uh, angle of it. Turbo tries to take it. Beast mode clears back down the field. We're seeing a lot of booming clears, not a lot of control right now. A lot of pressure coming on to Envy too. Could be a huge disadvantaged him they don't get rid of the pressure fast yeah we see uh kcp either plays with a lot of offensive pressure and stays off defense or they get trapped in their own half uh pretty easily but when when kcp has their own offense going it's really hard to break out but we saw with the the most recent regional they dropped to some not so good teams because they just got stuck on defense their boost management seems to not be so good yeah, so the fact that they have a lot of the pressure right now could be a good advantage to KCP. I'm, get, I'm getting messages from my my uh, Twitch chat saying they they were promised some some swear some casting, swear but you're casting? actually you're actually keeping it pretty professional. So, you know, Danny's sitting there with his with his knees. He's he's uh he's you know like thanking you that your memory, uh, memory turns. I thought you were just gonna straight up just swear. <laughs> you're just gonna <laughs> just throw a swear word. Just hit the ball right into MVP. <laughs> Missed again, hits to the backboard, memories up, just f hits the ball away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're just doing it all willy nilly now, just on purpose. Oh, that might have been a bad defense. Yeah, we can see uh, KCP getting trapped in their corner. If Rapid can get rid of this, they should be able to get pressure again. And he just musties. Like musty. That's crazy. That's bad. We started to change a bit towards Envy. Which could yep. Be good to them. Yeah, we could see KCP getting stuck in their own half again. It's hard to tell which team is having the best boost management. In it. If uh, KCP gets stuck here again, they're, they're not going to have enough boost for a good counterattack unless Beast Mode can clear it. KCP really thrives with a, a fast paced gameplay, hitting the ball and good follow up touches. Um, but Envy tries to slow that down and change up the pace because uh, they're better at playing slow than KCP are. And both slow and fast can be a huge advantage in certain situations. Exactly. Fast is better, I mean slow is better. Pretty slow game, uh, looked a little messy. Envy only got scored on uh, from their own mistake. Their rotations have been pretty tight the most of the game. This might actually be, um, I can't tell if this is the part of the finals, but memory follows up quick and that's a quick overtime. All right, the vote is out. So feel free to vote. Um, there's some ups and downs to, to their to their casting. I think Flash didn't really speak too much, but uh, I thought Frank did decently. But as a combo, what'd you guys feel? All right, so we, it looks like we're having a, a pretty clear vote for not good enough, but uh, are there any... <laughs> I'll ban all of you. <laughs> I'll let the vote carry out, though, before we continue. That's three, three pretty good rounds. So uh, Sleegy, definitely the hard carry so far, I believe, with the one that has had, had experience in the past of casting. So... Uh, advice there but this is open to anybody like i said so for game four morph and clutch come together to cast will they clutch it out <clears throat> i'll see myself out all right take it away guys all right here we are for another rlcs match this time it's envy versus g2 missed with the ball in the wall here's an air dribble 
JNAPS clears off the backboard. Chicago rotating in, has possession. Good 50 from Chicago and now missed with the ball in the corner. It's actual pressure right now from G2, kind of locking Envy in their half. It's a weak clear from Envy, stronger from Turbo. Rizzo to JNAPS, that's a clear. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is a clear. <laughs> That made me laugh, sorry, I'm sorry. G2 started to lock it down, and there's a great and shot Chicago. from Chicago. There's the energy, G2 though, I love it, guys. G2 did a good job of locking them in their half there and just boost starving them to the point where Chicago had a free open net. Envy trying to fight their way out of their half. Turbo Posa looking for the 50 to get it across as Rizzo keeps them locked in. Atomic trying to break out with a boomer downfield. And now Chicago uh -oh. going to settle That's things down in his half. Chicago now taking it up the wall, pass over to Rizzo. Let's see if Rizzo can make anything of it, but no. Turbo Pulsa is going to have the clear and then Atomic. You know, it feels like the tides have totally turned in this game, don't you think? Yeah, we at the start we saw Envy playing a little more passive and G2 almost dominating them. But now we've seen Envy with a lot more strength and confidence in this second half. Yeah, Envy has really started to warm up and starting to play small ball with each other, which is exactly what you want to see at this level. I think that even with G2's amazing defense, Envy still could score if they keep the pressure up for long enough. With 48 seconds left, they're going to have to find something and they're going to have to find it fast. Envy, while producing a lot of threatening chances, still cannot find the net. Let's see if this is an opportunity as Turbo Pulsa goes up, but Rizzo with a clear right back down the field. Here comes the G2 offense, mounting pressure, shot, but turned away by Turbo Pulse at the last second. JNAPS keeps the pressure on, but now Turbo's got a good opportunity here. Rizzo scrambling back. Is he going to make it in time? No. That's a goal for Turbo Pulse. And OT we go. Let's see how these two teams fare in overtime. But Chicago and Rizzo now going to have to deal with the ball with Atomic, forcing pressure down their throat. Let's see. Good opportunity. Atomic's able to put it in the net as a miss came out. I think that was Rizzo coming across. Unable to make the save. That was a close game, but Envy had it in overtime. So after that, after all of that pressure at the beginning of the game, uh, G2 ended up dropping the game after uh, after starting with that lead and holding it for about four minutes. Uh, that was a lot of fun to watch on my half. I actually didn't see the series, so uh, thank you guys for casting. Um, so yeah, Morph, it, man. Morph was, Morph was, uh, this is Morph, right? You're Morph? Yeah, I'm Morph. I think Clutch actually carried himself really well and, and Morph had some good, good ideas on, uh, on the color side. Part of, part of, you know, being a caster is being able to pull up those that are, that are struggling or not doing as much in the casting. And I think that Clutch actually brought in, uh, a lot of good moments for Morph to, uh, to bounce back off of as well. So I think that's good. I think that, uh, you guys are voting for RLCS quality there. I think, uh, both of them did a pretty good job there. For the final match of the video, we got two friends paired up, Firebrew and Crasher. They wanted to change it up a little bit. Let, let me do an intro and you'll know when when to start the recording. Okay? Oh shoot, I gotta do some flybys. Okay, here, we, here we go, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth match between G2 and Envy. My name is Robin Crasher Ringstrom and I'm here to get with Bruno. How are you doing, Bruno? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. These two teams here have battling between each other for quite a couple of games now. The game's about to start and we will hop right into it to see which one of these teams will finally be able to take the lead over one another. Hop to the casters to in five score. seconds. I know, man. It's going to be three, two, this is the fifth game, one. Right? Yeah. It's going to be an epic game, man. These two oh, teams no. have faced each other day in, <laughs> day out, every single time. I messed up. This okay. is a this is a game that's going to be delivering from start to finish. Here, missed with a great play. Uh, Crusher, over to you. I think this is going to be interesting. Well, we can certainly see that there's already been some uh, bumping on the field. One of the members from uh, ITB TV was uh, Envy that already got taken out. And for the time being, we'll see how they can perform here on the field. Turbo Pulsa trying to dri dribble the ball forward. Does get uh, shot away by JNAPS who's uh, sending the ball over towards the some really there. really good pressure coming out of uh, the envy side oh and the goal already this is a uh, 20 35 seconds in this is gonna be easy it's still plenty of time to come back chicago actually helping down with that pressure into the middle for rizzo gets it a little bit too high today rizzo straight back up he's putting it in and that is a goal and that is one all we've got the score all tied up what did you think of that one crusher 
absolutely beautifully played by G2. J Naps actually knocking away Turbo Pulsar from the goal, allowing that score to happen. 1 1. They're tied up quickly into the game. Just one minute of play has passed as Turbo Pulsar now getting a pass. Getting knocked back by Chicago. Missed up for the ball. Can't quite get it away. Knocked towards the goal. Atomic's there to save it. Gets it up. J Naps clears it up. Gives time for Chicago to recover. Over to Miss to keep it going. Tries to put it to the middle. Rizzo, not enough, and Turbo oh, gets Turbo! it. So Turbo pulls up. Up the air once more. Knocks it away. J Naps there for the counter. Atomic trying to get another goal on the. Oh my god, how did Goodness that go gracious, in? Atomic. That is mad plays. Really showing the synergy how these guys are doing. They can show that these guys have played together for years, and really, as a team, that communication is really key. Oh, what? Oh, you can't Dana! believe that! Oh Jesus. my god, what is going on today? This is a game that is just delivering every single time. Well, never count G2 out, that's for sure. 30 seconds left. Only one goal is the difference between overtime and a match loss for G2. So if they have to do if they want to do something, they have to do it now. This is, this is this is a really good amount of towards. offense. This is a really, really good amount of offense. JNAP's really trying to play with Rizzo. Rizzo gets a shot, but not enough. That's a dual commit. They really need to get that pressure going. Nine seconds left on the play, and JNAP trying to get the goal in. Turbo Pulsa knocks it away. Five seconds left on the clock, and Turbo Pulsa is going to knock it away. And now G2 has to keep the ball alive. One goal. Can they do it? The Tomic is up there together with JNAP. Trying to they push really it away. keeping Rizzo that ball, ball alive. Up the air. This is, is this it going to be enough? Chicago tries to get the ball. Chicago and they put it to the ground. Chicago. That's going to be GG. Oh, that is, uh, that is a very close game and a good amount of offense. I'm not really sure what could have been done differently in that game. Uh, really showing what it's like. At, that's top, top, top tier of games. Um, really, really good game. There it is. Well, thank you guys. That was that was a blast. That was the fifth uh, the round of casting. That's going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys once again. We'll jump into the poll real, real quick and see how it goes. But uh, thanks for joining thanks, in. <laughs> Appreciate and, uh, the opportunity and good good to meet you, man. There's definitely more hype in that than we've had in some of the, some of the matchups. But I think they did a pretty good job. Needless to say, casting's pretty hard, but I think all of our guests did a pretty good job given the pressure of speaking in front of a live audience. I hope you guys enjoyed this silly video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future daily videos. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.